Hey, G, what's up? Listen, Chu Xia is a poor girl who lives with her mother. Due to their financial difficulty, Chu Xia works as a milk delivery woman, but she is treated poorly at her job. And on top of that, people mock her for how she dresses. One day, Han Chi Lu, a very rich and mysterious guy, is using the computer in a restaurant when he sees a man bothering a woman. Han fights with him, throwing him out on the street. Unfortunately, the guy bumps into Chu Xia motorbike and knocks over the milk bottle. When the guy says he fell because of Chi Lu, she goes to him to charge him for the damage, but he doesn't really pay attention. Suddenly, she trips and accidentally kisses Chi Lu on the lips. He feels disgusted, and when his friend Han Yu makes fun of him, Chi Lu immediately insists on keeping it a secret. Chi Lu fears punishment if it is discovered that he kissed a poor girl, so Han Yu gives Chu Xia money to keep the secret. However, during the accidental kiss, Chi Lu inadvertently takes Chu Xia's mother's pendant. She begins to chase after him, but they are soon confronted by criminals who point a gun at them and kidnap them. While Chu Xia demands her pendant back, the thieves take them to a beach where they force Chi Lu to give them all his money, knowing he is a millionaire, heir to the Han company. Chu Xia speaks to them without fear and tries to trick the kidnappers into getting the money that Chi Lu had promised her if she helped. To do this, she pretends to faint, but at the time of the surprise attack, she unintentionally grabs Chi Lu instead of the kidnapper. In the end, the kidnappers were military men from the super rich school, and it was all part of the day's training. Chu Xia then asks Chi Lu to give her the money he promised her, but he refuses. Meanwhile, Chu Xia's mother is in the hospital in critical condition. Jiang Yuan Yuan, who is Chi Lu's mother, is also there and tries to talk to Chu Xia's family so that they donate the woman's organs if she dies because her husband needs them. Both Chi Lu and Chu Xia get a call about their family member at the same time. After, Chi Lu provokes the girl and, angry, she punches him, knocking him out. In the hospital, Chu Xia's mother says, she will give her kidney to Chi Lu's father on the condition that the woman raises Chu Xia until she graduates from university and gets married. She tells the other woman about her daughter. Chi Lu's mother agrees, saying that she'll treat Chu Xia as if she was her daughter. Chu Xia is heartbroken, finds out about her mother passing. When Yuan Yuan tries to explain her promise, the girl looks Chi Lu and blames Chi Lu for not being able to see her mother alive before she died. Chi Lu's mother tells Chu Xia that she promised to take care of them. When Chu Xia gets to her own house, she discovers her it was burned down because her mother left the iron on. The landlord mercilessly demands money, which Chu Xia doesn't have. So because of that and also sort of fulfill her mother's wishes, Chu Xia goes to live with the Han family. Chi Lu is not happy about that, but his mother doesn't care. She will keep her word to Chu Xia's mother. When Chu Xia gets to the Han house, Yuan Yuan tells her that that's her new home. She says Chu Xia can ask for whatever she wants and the employees will get it for her. After, Chi Lu goes to talk to her. He says he understands her situation, but does not want her in his house, so he offers to pay her more money for her to leave. Later at night, Chu Xia sneaks into Chi Lu's room to take back her mother's necklace, but Chi Lu grabs her and accidentally kisses her on the mouth. In the morning, Chu Xia appears in a beautiful dress, surprising Chi Lu with her beauty. While they are all having breakfast, Yuan Yuan announces that Chu Xia has been accepted into the elite school and will study alongside Chi Lu. She explains that for Chu Xia to be accepted, she must pretend to be his fiance. Chu Xia is so shocked by this that she spills water on Chi Lu's face. Yuan Yuan also threatens to return Chi Lu's telescope to the store if she treats Chu Xia badly. Chu Xia's best friend transferred to her new school, so she isn't alone. Chu Xia thinks the other students are stuck up, and they all treat her badly for being poor, since Li Ku introduced her as his employee. She also learns of Chi Lu's reputation at school. Aside from her new family drama, Chu Xia seems to really like school, and she's very intelligent. Chi Lu continues to be rude to the girl, and ever his friend Han Yu asks him to be nicer. Before going home together, Chu Xia then sees a girl confessing her love to Chi Lu and begging for a kiss. But Chi Lu calls security to remove her. Hey, if you're watching until now, it means you're enjoying the video, right? Then hit the like button. Uh, and if you want more movies like this one, just comment part two down below. Let's continue G. Later, Chu Xia says he's arrogant for having expelled a girl from school for declaring herself to him. But Chi Lu replies that he can do whatever he wants. Rumors start to spread that Chu Xia is pregnant with Chi Lu's child, which they vehemently deny. Just to prove she has to obey him, Chi Lu makes her buy soda and distribute the drink to all the students in the class. Han Yu even tries to help her, but Chu Xia doesn't let him. As she enters the classroom, garbage falls on her head. Everyone laughs except Han Yu, who asks if she's okay and Meng, her best friend. Then a paper ball fight begins. Yuan, the prettiest girl in the school, then confronts Chu Xia, asking if it's true that she is pregnant with Chi Lu's child and stating she can never be his wife. 
Later, an angry-looking Chilu asks the other students whose idea it was to throw trash at Chuxia. Some boys get up and say the prank was directed at their teacher. Chilu leaves, still mad. Chuxia accidentally eats seafood, which leaves her itching because she is allergic. Even the teacher calls to the front of the class to participate in and demonstration, but her scratchiness makes her break a very valuable vase. Feeling sad, Chuxia is invited to dinner with her new friends. There she meets Feng Shao, an old acquaintance, who says she has changed a lot. A little later, another group arrive, and Feng Shao fights with their leader. To help him, Chuxia and her friends enter the fight as well. As one of the thugs is about to hit her, Chi Lu arrives to protect Chuxia, taking a punch meant for her. He then fights off the thugs, getting injured in the process. Chuxia tends to Chi Lu's wounds with care, and she explains that she'll only stay at his house till she graduates from school. The next day, Han Yu offers to help Chuxia find a new house. He shows her his grandmother's old house. He says no one lived there since she died, and Chuxia could stay there. Then, Han Yu asks her out for the weekend, and she agrees. Chuxia tells Chi Lu's mother that she found a house, but the older woman begs her to stay with the Han family. The Yuan Yuan decides that Chuxia can't leave until he meets the new father, who is still recovering from the transplant. The tension between Chi Lu and Chuxia escalates, and they nearly fight. At the weekend, Han Yu will pick her up, but Chi Lu also goes with her. Everyone goes to a park, and Han Yu and Chuxia have fun, while Chi Lu just looks bored. When night comes, they are still in the park. Chi, who loves astronomy, Lu talks about the constellations and stars. The girl also talks about a myth that her mother told her when she was a child and that Chi Lu didn't know about. Another school week begins and Chu Xia sees many girls running out of a room. She goes to see what happened and finds a boy bleeding, but realizes it's artificial blood meant to trick her. In the gardening class, Han Yu points out that it's strange that Chi Lu is taking that class since he doesn't like dirt. One of the boys messes with Chu Xia's classmate and she confronts him. More people show up saying she's Chi Lu's maid. She kicks the boy who messed with her friend and the principal punishes her by making her work in the field for hours, leading to be taken to the infirmary due to heat exhaustion. Meng and Han Yu say that Chi Lu was not happy about Chu Xiu's punishment, but the girl doesn't believe it. Upon returning to class, Chu Xia finds her books destroyed. The boy Gao was messing with in gardening class passes Chu Xia a note thanking her for helping, but saying they can't talk. He also warns her that Gao is responsible for the damage to her books. She cries in frustration, but her friend Meng stays by her side, cheering her up. Chu Xia and Han Yu share a special bond, confiding in each other, which annoys Chi Lu. She tells Han Yu she regrets meeting Chi Lu, leading to an altercation where Han Yu saves her from a thrown pot. Chi Lu's mother, worried for Chu Xia's safety, insists that Chi Lu becomes her bodyguard. He agrees on the condition that Chu Xia is kinder to him, and they stop fighting. Chi Lu becomes her constant shadow, even following her into the girl's bathroom, resulting in accusations of being a pervert. When a friend asks if Chi Lu is her boyfriend, Chu Xia vehemently denies it, saying she'd rather kiss a pig. Chi Lu overhears this and hurt, retaliates by publicly claiming she is his girlfriend and pregnant with his child. Furious, Chu Xia punches him, and Chi Lu provocatively kisses his hand, warning that next time he'll kiss her elsewhere. At that moment, a girl obsessed with Chi Lu Envious of Chu Xia appears with a knife. As she attempts to stab Chu Xia, Chi Lu shields her with his arm, getting injured. The obsessed girl apologizes and leaves, but Chu Xia is deeply affected by the encounter. She tells her friend she needs to find a job and starts washing cars at night. Chi Lu waits for her, admitting he can't live without her. At work, Chu Xia faces bullying for being the best worker. Chi Lu humiliates the bullies by making them wash his car, protecting Chu Xia. On graduation, G. Now you're familiar with a new story. Subscribe for more, and if you'd like more movies like this one, just comment part two inches below. See you in the next one. Click on this video. Probably enjoy it.